Mostre e morta. It's a UFC lightweight division bout. Practice 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. More than a decade. All right, can't get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your hands, my fight. You ready? Are you ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchup that we dream of as MMA fans. Takedown defense holds up. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He him. has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to break the fight into a closer distance. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the champ. Liver kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting. Oh, him. nice double leg takedown attempt there. And got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, single collar tie now. Look at the turnover in that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. And they separate. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. <laughs> Whiffs on the right hand. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, boy, nice huge right shot. Lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Yeah, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. way with him here. Oh, 
Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. I need you to scramble, scramble. Now he's gonna try to attack a Kimura here. And this might just be a matter of time. Side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Take a deep breath and relax. I want you to look at the finish this way. You have to put the pressure on this guy. Move forward behind head movement. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging then when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, round two. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, goes for the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances. Best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such custom to even be on his feet right now. Oh, collar tie. Missed with that right hand. And they clinch once again. Immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, side control now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Just over three minutes to go in round two. That was snuck in. Nice strike. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And they separate. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Straight punch lands. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a throw. Another big take out. There's that patented single. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Lee's got the full mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. I mean, how many can he take? He passes the half. Lee's back in full mount. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. of strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent, not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Back oh, in the that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up right. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this, you're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready? You ready? Third round all the way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Watch the shot. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent. Defending the take now, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get the fight to the ground. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land the punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. In attack and armbar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. side control now let's see what he does right sometimes when you do that the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter but he was able to evade it. yes all right he's got side control here dc you know he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground a lot of top pressure being applied here i love watching this guy move on the ground another nice transition there such a high level grappler you don't see that very often 
man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. <laughs> He'll engage in a single collar tie. When you're in the clinch, you go to the body. That's an investment. You keep on putting that money away with every single body Whoa! shot. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he just heard him. He just heard him. He's got the longer reach and certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Lee's pass attempt denied. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fun. A oh, little single collar tie there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Alrighty. An elbow! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Whoa! Back to the feet. That one is starting to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Try to establish that trap. Big knee to the body. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. What a performance. Yeah, few things better in mixed martial arts than a finish by way of the elbow. It takes a lot of technique, a lot of repetitions in the gym. And you've got to have a lot of confidence in your skills to throw those elbows and try to maximize force over a short distance. Of course, when you land, it can be absolutely devastating. And in this case, it spelled the end of the night for his opponent. Back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rugliotis will stop for this contest at 54 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party.